My friends, Parshat Noah, this Shabbat's Torah portion has many themes. God punishes the wicked by causing a giant flood. We read that the world was corrupt before God, and the land was filled with violence. All flesh had perverted its way on earth. There was a state of wickedness, violence, and corruption. The flood destroys all living creatures aside from Noah, his family, and the animals on the ark. The rain came upon the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. After several failed attempts, Noah again sends out a dove who does not return to the ark, whereupon Noah knew that the land had dried. Other themes in this week's biblical portion include Noah and his family repopulating the world, our first introduction to Abraham and Sarah, and finally, the building and construction of Migdal Bavel, the Tower of Babel. We read that the whole world was of one language, a common speech, and a unified purpose. Known as Dor Haflaga, this generation of dispersion wanted to build a skyscraper, a tower that ascended the heavens. And this act greatly angered God, who dispersed all of humanity throughout the world. Perhaps in a more radical understanding of God's anger, their sin was that they held conformed views and they all shared the very same views with each other. Meaning the need to strive for a more pluralistic society where different members embrace different views, a free society with a multiplicity of opinions and perspectives. For years, American Jews have agitated for more religious pluralism in the state of Israel. American Jews cannot practice their pluralistic brands of Judaism freely in Israel. Worshippers in egalitarian prayer services at the Western Wall are routinely subjected to violent ultra-Orthodox attacks. Indeed, many Israelis disapprove of how their government handles religious issues. and They, too, desire a more pluralistic religious society. They support Orthodox, Conservative, and Reform Judaism, enjoying equal status in Israel. And such controversies over Western Wall prayer rights and the lack of state recognized religious pluralism in Israel have generated intense debates among leaders in Israel and American Jewry, especially with the contentious campaign leading to elections in Israel this Tuesday, November 1st. Our commitment to Jewish unity must transcend our ideological and political differences. This was the critical message that was delivered by my cherished friend, Israeli President Isaac Herzog, with whom I met this past week in Washington, in President Herzog's address on Tuesday. To American Jewish leaders, he cautioned that the two epic centers of Jewish life today are under a great threat of growing apart. We must strengthen our shared sense of peoplehood to enhance and deepen the links between Israel and the American Jewish community, he said. And President Herzog promised to ensure that no matter the outcome in this latest round of Israeli elections on Tuesday, that every Jewish voice around the world will be heard and respected. The Tower of Babel. Conformity was the blemish. Our need 
to create a pluralistic society with a multiplicity of opinions and views. Shabbat Shalom.